G'day and welcome back. Some time ago I showed a lathe compound sign bar made by Tangent Engineering. That sign bar that I had was a prototype. Uh, Jim's since gone into making them. It's like a production run of them and sold quite a few. So I ended up buying a complete set from four, uh, three inch to six inch plus the vice mate. I'll put a, a photo in here of what I bought. There's probably no need to buy the whole lot of them, but you buy it once, I'll have it for life, and they'll come in handy somewhere along the line. But the Cincinnati doesn't have a quilt, so to be able to set the angle on the head, I needed to make an imitation quilt. So Jim showed this on one of his videos not so long ago. He showed how you could make one. I've gone ahead and built one to suit the Cincinnati. I believe this one's a fair bit shorter than what he built or he designed. But anyway, this is going to work for me. So I hope you enjoy the video and see you after. So what I'm doing here is I need to have this bar at exactly one inch end to end. Now that's about eight inches long. Put on the inch. Spot on the inch. <laughs> I'm stoked. It's good exercise, that. Eh? I'll pull this out of the chuck a fraction and part that off. So I've got the shaft made, now I've got to make an inch and a half long sleeve, inch and a half in diameter, inch and a half long, that's a really really neat fit on this shaft. That side does got to be down to inch and a half, but it's not overly crucial that size. So I've got a fair bit to come off. That's down to inch and a half, as good as. Um, that outside diameter is not crucial. The inside diameter, the inch diameter is absolutely crucial. Uh, I'm just going to rough it out close. And then let it cool down, come back and do it the final size. I'll go in with a 23 and a half mil drill. I 
I'm using a carbide boring bar and a tip for aluminium actually. I really want this to be a super, super nice finished bore. If I can keep that quality of finish up, I'll be absolutely stoked. Nine sixty two. Nine hundred and ninety nine. It feels smooth. Looks like it's got a bit of a pattern to it, but like it definitely, definitely feels smooth. I know these are back a little way, but we'll try the bar in here, see how it goes. I'm not complaining about that fit, I can guarantee you that. So I'll just show you the tool I was using for that. It's actually a tip for aluminium. It works on that steel, no drums at all. You just don't feed it heavy and just take it easy on it. Uh, I put it on the slowest feed rate doing that bore and it, there was no dramas. A little mark on it but it's not going to matter right now this part here the sleeve needs to have a flat put on one side and directly opposite on the other they both the flats have got to have two five mil tapped holes um, which will be an inch apart so. really don't like that finish. That's what I wanted.
I've tapped them two holes and I just run a flat stone over the top of that cut just to get rid of the burr on the top and needle file the inside on them threads. So now I've got to put it in that side up and do the same. Just got to deburr that now. Um, run the flat stone across the top here. Deburr the inside where the, the threading was done, drilling was done. This and this part's finished. Now I think I'm nearly ready to touch off and make the cut. This slot is going to be four mil deep in total. I just shortened up a couple of socket head cap screws and got in there. These two parts are completely finished. I just have to make up the indicator holder now. So I'll get stuck into that. We can put a 5mm clearance hole here, that's 250 thou up from the end. Uh, we'll shift up an inch, put another one. Okay, this side is M5 for 6 more thread.
the day bear and she'd be good to go. I've got to tap that thread, that's all. Rightio, off camera I tapped that thread. So this piece is now finished. Pretty simple piece. Now this goes on to collar. Rightio, so now that's on there. We can uh, put the indicator on. There we go. Tool is done. That goes in the quill. And I've got about six inches of adjustment up and down, a bit better. So this becomes the quill. And I suppose there's only one more thing left to do. Got a bit of um, Scotch Brite and just yeah, gently went back and forwards on it. It's cleaned it up really well. And it's actually got it half straight and in the centre too. That's surprising for a change. Okay, so here's a theory on how this works. Got a four inch sign bar, got a uh, adjustable parallel, so this can set the angle that you, that you require, and then you can use this as an imitation quill so once you tilt your head over you can run this up and down until you read zero and then the, you know your head is set to that exact angle i hope you guys enjoyed that build it was a good exercise in precision it turned out really really good i couldn't wish for a much better finish on that inch bar it's spot on the whole way so Good fun build, didn't take long, and yeah, it was really enjoyable. Anyway, appreciate you watching, and see you on the next video. Peru.